Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between a large thud and Beldelujo. Um, Beldelujo has a bribe, of course it was not possible to get him a wizard because he would have got a wizard and only an absolutely insane person wouldn't have got a wizard um, if it was possible for them to get a wizard. So there was obviously no chance of him being able to get a wizard. Um, and <laughs> he's got some things. Some guards, some mighty blow, some strain. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible zone team, is it? The edge five is cool. Not terrible. Um, a large thud. It's got a tackle pommer. Very nice against zones. Some guard. Not terrible. The yeti's a bit terrible. But I um, guess could have sacked the yeti even if uh, if it was stopped a wizard. But luckily there was no chance for Bell de Luco to get a wizard. So there you go. <laughs> yes, exactly, Lord. Yeah, he said. He said his opponent to cheerleaders or something and assistant coaches instead, which seems, which seems pretty insane. Um, if you ask me. Yeah, the double edge up guy is pretty nice, especially if it had a wizard. Like to be fair, Zons aren't that good with a wizard, but um, <laughs> the Yeti's terrible, isn't it? It's trash because it, it's just literally doesn't even have claw. Yeah, Edge Five is not so great on moves, it, but still, it's Edge Five, isn't it? So. It's still Edge Five with dodge. It's still pretty fucking brilliant. Like it would let him do something. Like he can't make it faster. Like he can't, can it? It just is what it is. It can still do things. Fails the dodge. The wizard's pretty good against Norse just because of like causing damage as well, isn't it? Like, there's a chance you take out good players with it. Ah, nice gets to target a tackler. And do absolutely nothing. You'll do nothing. What's the player name? Zones will never win Chalice! <laughs> Glorious! <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. The Dublay Skulls. Doesn't want to frenzy trap himself. What a what an absolute nerd. Are you are you even a are you even a are you even a Norse coach if you're not frenzy trapping yourself every time? Terrible. Gary on! <laughs> It's all fizz up shit creek, isn't it? You can't even punch with him. So just gives up the hit. Maybe should have dodged out, right? There's an argument. 50% of the time. And there's no mighty blow on the ground. God, the Zon sound effects are terrible, aren't they? I want to find everyone who plays North in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Thanks for that. There should be an exclamation point Zons if Dimmy just saying Zons will never win Chalice, shouldn't there? Yeah, it's the replay, it's the replay, that's, that's the, uh, that's the fast playing, it's because it's a replay, so yeah, that makes, there's a reason, there's a reason why the casts are replays in the cup, for the most part, because... Nobody wants to sit and wait through two minute turns, do they? Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh my, oh my god, the uh, the Yeti is up. Outrageous. F instant full pal. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Covers covers for the frenzy. Outrageous. Got a pile as well. Yeah, yeah. Take the boat down and pile. You know. Wrecked him. Hmm, that's a little, that's interesting, isn't it? Is, it? is this on purpose? Well, I guess this isn't even stronger, is it, if it's on cross? I'd still put him on a cross. Just to be more responsive. Yeah, it's a bang out. Will we see a foul? There are a couple of dirty players. And this is a jump up tackle pommer. So. There's another removal, oh boy howdy. Got a foul now, right? Or at least next turn. Do you uphill the Yeti here? It's almost tempting, isn't it? It's almost tempting. Oh, he's only got one reroll, I can't then. He literally can't. If he had like three rerolls or something, he could have just uphill the Yeti for a push. And like, obviously if he powers him, he gets an extra two assists. So, um, wouldn't have, literally wouldn't have hated that. You got a foul here, though, haven't you? Two assists. It's not great, but it's a jump up tackle bomb. Diced. This is why Zons will never win Chalice. Yeah, and then you get the one dice afterwards. So, like, that's fine. That's the safe play to do the foul. The plus two, and then you get the one day after. But I think if he had lots of rerolls, I would have quite liked the uphill. The uphill into two more assists. Potentially. Because, like, this this guy's the whole game, isn't he? He's, he can win it single hand. Devastating Yeti Blitz. Problem is, there wasn't. Great blitzers was there with the, uh, all the guard around. He evens it up a little bit. Good shout hitting the dirty player as well. I mean, probably the only one he could hit, but still. Powered by Mighty. Oof, diced. I wonder if the uh, follow up was bad there. Because I would have would, would liked to blitz this guy with tackle. But I guess this is this is fine, especially if you're going to foul. But Maybe he's got his fouling boots on because of. Because of that guy, but that's the only one I'd want to foul here. Yeah, yeah. He's got the bribe as well. Oh no, diced. Well, he would have rolled the one on the wizard anyway. It's actually pretty. It's actually pretty dicey, isn't it? The 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 uh, the yeti could be critical here, right? Could open up two D on the ball potentially. The one of the guys has already run away from the ball. Oh. Well, yeah, he was critical. <laughs> critical failure. <laughs> Amazing. I guess at least he didn't want him there. Ah, oh, the zones are alright. Nothing, nothing special. Five guard. That's five carry. The mighty blow. Nothing to write home about. Arts team's better. Yeah. Somehow getting a little tricky for the zones. Maybe it's because you're sticking everybody on the Yeti. But like, even then. That, that, that drive hit was horrendous. Cause I, I really did like following this guy continuously.
Yeah, yeah, he's a pretty good track magnet. A bit like the tree, isn't it? In that he's got the 50 50 and not even get up afterwards sometimes. Huge dodge of that, wasn't it? Like, if that fails, instant 2D on the ball. Taking further forward player, good. There's only two turns left. Amazing that how the Zons have managed to not get a good drive out of this. Maybe is he overly focused on following the Palmer? Which, to be fair, you can't even blame him for. But he probably should have realised he actually had the score as well. Because right? although his fouls were unlucky on the Palmer, he should have... Uh, he should have probably... Try to get like he's not even protecting the ball, is he? Like the, the ball's been pretty exposed every turn. Now he's just got to go up this way, like he's hardly got any time left. I guess he's got the edge five potato. Oof. Oh, that's pretty big. Maybe he's, now he's just going to try and get out at nil nil. It's funny though, isn't it? It's funny because he, he like he actually he actually outbashed and he never felt like he never felt he's in control. Maybe his team's a lot worse. Oh, yep, failed too. I mean, it's fair enough. It's totally reasonable. It's totally reasonable that he fails that, but he shouldn't have left himself. I mean, he probably loses anyway, right? Like, what does it matter if he gets through there? He just gets, he just gets nailed by the tackle. Bomb. It's probably better for him that he failed. It's probably literally better for him that he failed that than if he succeeded, honestly. To say that he got the, the removals early and he's been up for the whole drive. To end up having to make a million dodges and GFIs and potatoing in the middle of the field. It does really seem terrible, doesn't it? Maybe it was those fouls on the uh, on the pommel. Oh, nice sidestep square. Decent, by decent you mean ridiculously overpowered and game defining, yep. Well, format defining, rather than game defining. Was he in range already? Yeah. Wasn't that terrible. Yeah, this is a bit of a... He's it's weird, like, I guess he had to just... Maybe he got sidetracked by the fouling. Maybe it was more than the fouling, but he he had to have done something. Getting two players up early. Mm, okay, eventually it was... You know, his fouls were lucky and it was eventually reduced to a level. An extra chain here, lovely. Oh no, he's blitzed the sidestepper. Rot all. Was it possible to uh, to have come around here? Like if he could have, if he could have got on the other side, that was pretty, that was pretty terrible. That's on the side stuff. Oh my God! There we go. Pom, Pom gets a cars. Feels the dodge, but he's got his reroll. Boy, howdy. Makes a GFI. And there we go. Zon's not looking like they're going to win Chalice right now. 
Both Norse come back. Zon comes back. Yeah, I don't even know how it happened, right? Like, that was a weird thing. Just all of a sudden it was like turn 8 and they, they were potato. Well, turn 7 and they were potato. -y. So obviously, he needed more penetration earlier, somehow. You can be my wingman anytime. Fuck off, Dimmy. Ooh. Dimmy the champ. Hello, Dimmy. Do you want to join in, Dimmy? Do you want to join us, Dimmy? I'm here all alone waiting for you. <laughs> I'm waiting for you with open arms and legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you, Dimmy. Thanks for the raid. here. Do you know what I've got to say? I kind of like it. Oh god, not making 3D. Though. You've got to make the Yeti 3D though, haven't you? Jimmy! Hello, Faimir! What is this? What is happening here? What's on the screen? What is happening here is uh, is Zon's probably not winning Chalice as they've just had a guy, well, a lady killed. Uh, three, six, seven, eight players, nine players. Yeah, I can count. Uh, after getting turned over and scored on their own drive, so. Get All right. Back, can, can you share the screen? Oh, yep. Of course I can. I just always forget. <laughs> No, it's okay, it's okay, so I just arrived in a... I would say I was working, but I'm having a siesta for the ages. It's been absolutely glorious. <laughs> absolutely glorious. Wonderful. Oh man, here we go, he's gonna lose it with the fouls, isn't he? No, uh, maybe. Well, again, the Yeti can, can crack this to get the uh, good the good one hit. I guess you want to try and get the good one hit. <sighs> Lame. Uh, going for the attacker, for the sensible action, and get the pow. Learn your lesson. Yeah. The tragedy I mean, of the, being sensible. The Yeti has a free hit anyway, so... No, this is this was this was the sensible safe play. For sure. It's just you kinda of wanna see the the bit crazier players sometimes, don't you, when you just watch yeah. them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder if this guy out would have been better. Just you know, control a bit more space. Because these these zones are all free to get back around. Get around the back if they want. I guess they can't go around the back because they're they're one nil behind. So they've got to just get back here. So in that case, tucking this guy in is fine. But he, he could have been protecting the Yeti a bit, right? If he'd been up here, he would have been protecting the Yeti. Which is maybe better that he doesn't, because I guess you do want the Yeti hit. <laughs> yes, Seems also, I mean, uh, Norse teams are not very good at protecting things. No, true, true. The best players, the ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. The, 
Let the gods decide. <laughs> and yep, the, the fouls have ruined him here, haven't they? You know, he's made he's made four fouls. He's never removed him, and he's got sent off twice, and the apples failed. That is. That is <laughs> that's, that's I think more than enough to lose a. Uh, uh, Cup a game. It really is, yeah. And like you see other people, and you know they just make the first foul, they cast somebody, and you know, like if that if that had happened, the game's completely different, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you could say that more or less, you know, for every block, but in the case of fouls, it's more obvious because it's a high risk uh, maneuver. Yeah. But if you have a bribe, it's alright. But once the bribe fails, you are playing a lottery there. Yep. Yeah, he did use an apple on the kill, but stun, yeah. That was, uh, that was pretty roundy. Oh, yeah, so it was the KO on the, on the killer, yeah. Sorry, I mean, you'll have to excuse me, I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, more or less woke up, so yes, I'm the other side of the spectrum. <laughs> I've more or less just woken up to be honest by me. Uh, well, how many hours of uh, Minecraft? Oh god, I'd... like 15 or 16. <laughs> Jesus, and I thought I had a chivalry 2 problem. <gasps> yeah, probably more than that actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. yeah pretty much calm. The boomer. I actually called the boomer. Not LVDA or whatever. <laughs> I am an absolute Minecraft junkie. It's, I've got this stuff. Oh, scrambled eggs. I love scrambled eggs. Oh, I have those. I have the scrambled eggs with a, a, one of these uh, frozen veggie bags. Mm -hmm. Magic. I like this, he can just go back, he doesn't have to, doesn't have to score, does he? Do you know what? Nope. Oh yeah, yeah, I was about to say, fucking hell, that's a, that's a bit personal. I thought, I thought it was what are your normal wanking hours? <laughs> <laughs> well, two hours in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, and three hours at night, and usually, you know, the regular, the regular football coach waking a uh, time. <laughs> Nine of five. <laughs> Just constant. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. I generally, lately, since Minecrafting, I've been going to bed at about 9 a.m., <laughs> getting up about midday, and then Minecrafting for like 20 hours. <laughs> For our viewers, I want to say that Jimmy has been having trouble with his sleep much earlier than uh, Minecraft. This is yeah, coming true. since a very long time. Yeah, true, true. But now, Minecraft is just breaking me. <laughs> Minecraft is just breaking me completely now. Or maybe it's what is keeping you sane. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it also it's not like you are becoming an alcoholic or taking drugs or anything, so... Oh, true. I'm just trying to get caught up on like 11, 11 years of, of Minecraft in like a week, which is a bit silly, isn't it? Hello, <laughs> 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 PC. Oh, hello, PC. Long time no see. Yeah, nice to see PC around. Yeah, it's not much to ask, is it, Lord? I need to ask your guys' opinion as well, whether to make it out pink pink and magenta concrete or obsidian. <laughs> you should take this to Reddit. There is a Minecraft Reddit, you know, bring yeah. it there. Yeah. You probably will be the quickest banned person there ever. With yeah. good reason. With good reason, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, here's a picture of my, <laughs> my semi-completed penis. <laughs> I'm gonna replace the dirt with people. You know, people <laughs> they have a Minecraft server with my kids, you know, my friends at the school, or 
That's a big, big cast. <laughs> yeah, huge. Finally, finally. Oh, so there, that was the apple. So the apple hadn't been used on uh, the apple hadn't been used the large thud. So yeah, he'd not got that guy cast at all. But now there's a gaping hole, isn't there, for him to uh, advance either side. And he might as well advance just to. Uh, just to move the ball more squares far from his own uh, touchdown line. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't need to score. He needs only to keep the hold the ball for a few times more. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, could do. There's a time lapse thing. I, I'm good. There's a time lapse mod. I need. I need to work out how to do a time lapse. That's the biggest thing. And then what I'll do is I'll just delete I'll just delete my cock and then uh, replace replace like cause it's made out of dirt and so I'll just replace it with a uh, with obsidian or uh, concrete. It's because right now right now it's a very brown dark brown uh, cock which uh, <laughs> probably will ban you to enter any southern state in the United States. <laughs> it's it's more realistic than what it's gonna be. <laughs> Well, it depends on the size of your monitor, you know, the depends on the size of your screen. <laughs> oh, dear. But it is, it is going to be called Theresa May's dildo, for sure. <laughs> so maybe it should just be Obsidian. Flip me. Il met la pression sur le porteur. Ça se tient. Here we go. I could make it out of glass. That's not a bad idea. Stained glass. Stained glass penis. Wow, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Exactly, PC. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It might be good. It might be good or bad, right? <laughs> There's pros and cons. Depends who you ask. <laughs> meantime, meanwhile, in the cup game. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's good I just arrived for the demonetization of the body, of the video. Yeah, thanks by me. Oh, uh, no dear. worries. Oh dear me. <laughs> well the boomer eighty eight with the <laughs> The info there, you know, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Well, there we go, the edge five, trying to have the last play on the bar. There's no, there's no real hope though here, is there, for the zones? Not much. No. Super interesting. Yeah, he was, he was lost here, I mean, he got so many people banged out. Didn't get the fouls going until too late. They finally fouled out the Pommer too late, didn't they? Yeah, no, he no, no, it was a. Uh... His game plan completely to punch him. Didn't work. Yeah, they the were scoring the... this one. The legendary resilience of the Norse when you try to back them out. <laughs> yeah. It works, you know, to. There is an advice for people that plays Blood Bowl. You want to annihilate a Norse team. Look like you are not trying to. Don't use your might to blow pieces or something like that. Just make it casual, you know. Just a few blocks here and there. Don't maximize blocks. Just make it easy and the team will melt. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello, Faulty. Nice emote. Yeah, well played, Thud. Um, yeah. But I think. Well, it was mostly the dice, wasn't it? Like, I think. I don't think. I think you could have played a lot worse and still won. I think you could have played a lot worse and still won. I think had he rolled good on the early fouls, maybe. Uh... Yeah, they did. It was turn seven for them, and they had a player here. Unless they just stood them up, they had a player there that could have uh, could have got the ball. Uh, but I mean, maybe he just stood up. I think there was maybe two, depending on GFIs. But there was definitely one that could have done if they hadn't just stood up. 
Il faut que je change de sous-vêtements. Bob, prends le relais. Well, there you go. Zones will never win Chalice this season. That is, that is confirmed. The last Zones are out. Congratulations, a large thud. Commiserations, Bel de Lujo. Thank you very much, Faimi, for turning up and being glorious as always. No worries. Always uh, ready to arrive late as a proper Spanish person. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.